Hey, it's Heather. Welcome back to my channel. Heather Marie loves to. I have a Joanne Small haul, so let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Share we all. There. We'll go with that. It's gonna go with this. Okay, so I got this stamp set, which is from Hero Arts, and it is a um photopolymer stamp set. I always just sign my cards like heart and then Heather, but I'm like, oh, that'd be nice to have something else to, you know, have that looks a little bit more professional and just really cute. And I think this was like three bucks or something, not very expensive. So, um, does this have a name? I don't know if it has messages for card making. Maybe that's the name. Then I got this die set by, um, Tim Holtz. Is this Tim Holtz? Yeah, that T. And it's the sidekick side order. And so you get these two, like either labels or you can make pockets. And then you get these, like paper, paper clips. Dies that make paper clips out of paper. I don't know. Does that make sense? And so that's what they look like. And then I got some of these Tim Holtz tokens. I have some of these from the past. I'm not sure if I have this set, but I really like all his stuff. You know, it's, um, isn't this stamped? I think it's stamped metal, you know? And he just has fun ones. I love the Halloween ones. Those ones are my favorite. All right, I got some more of these Tim Holtz little cute adornments. Uh, these ones are silverware. You get nine pieces, three of each, and they're just really cute. And man, if you were into the Little Mermaid, wouldn't these be adorable? Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? And then we have these EK tools. Um, mine are really, I don't know where they are right now, but they're really like, they've been used and loved. And I saw these and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get me another pair. So I got me another pair of that. Got some thin Velcro tabs. These are great for paper products, and they're real, real thin. I mean, seriously, no bulk at all. I also got one of these punch boards. Um, this is the gift bag punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. Um, one thing I don't think I realize is it only makes like three sizes, and I'm a little baffled. I'm going to have to look it up more because... I'm kind of confused on what it said, but this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You could probably put a champagne bottle or wine bottle in that, you think? Um, and it makes these like side panels. It's not hard to use, just um, I had to look up the video because I was a little confused and then I was like, I had made one and it didn't work out and I'm like, I don't know what happens. So then I looked at the video and I was like, oh, I just bypassed a few steps and of course it comes with your little uh, scoring tool and then it comes with directions and that sort of thing so see how it 10 11 12 inches but I think you can make the other inches different if that makes sense like I think you can make that different you know what I mean instead of having 12 by 12 you could do 12 by 4 you know what I mean so, I don't know. So, that was that one. And then I got the little mini scoreboard. I think this is great, especially for new crafters or, you know, sometimes you want to get out your big old scoreboard. It's nice just for your 6x6 six six paper pads and, um, of course, for new crafters, too. You know, this was 7 bucks. I don't think that's uh, very expensive. And it comes with a measurements to do an envelope. Uh, again, I don't know. I can't. I have to watch a video. I'm a visual learner, and all this is like, huh? I tried to make one, and uh, don't make fun of me, but I make fun of myself. And I'm like, why? It didn't work, so I don't know what I did wrong. And then, along with that, you get these, like, fun embossing areas. So you put your piece of paper on there, and you, like, rub it on there. Um, kind of like the old school, you know, well, I guess you can still do it where you take a graveyard and What's that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You go like that and then it makes it on the paper. But I guess that's chalking. This is more like embossing. Well, anyways, you get what I'm saying. So, and then it's got like the measurements over here and then the score lines. So it's really nice, especially for beginners and um, all crafters alike. Because even if we're established, it's okay to get, you know, products 
that we kind of already have. Um, I wish I would have gotten the, I have the EK Tools one, which isn't bad or whatever, but I have so much, we have Memory Keeper stuff that that's what I should have gotten. And then last, but certainly not least, I got a new paper trimmer by Fiskars. I was really excited. I really, this is on sale and I really, gosh, I don't know about you guys, but I've been having trouble with like, okay, so I have um, like a Recollections. And then I also have, isn't this a We Are Memory Keepers? Whatever this one is, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I, first off, I don't like scoring just with this, so that's why you have to have a scoreboard. And then with this one, um, and then, you know, like, the paper, after so long, I feel like the blade gets super dull, no matter if you change them. I feel like you have to change them, like, all the time. So, anyways, and then this one, I swear, does not cut even. I don't know why. I don't know if it's me. I have no clue what's going on. So, anyways, I got this one. It's supposed to be self-leveling. And so it has an arm right here, and then it's supposed to self-level. I don't quite understand it. Then you have the blade, which is a, like, see how that's like a blade? And then it's got, like, the guard, the paper guard. Then it's got the blade um, arm. And then to change your blade, you just pull that to the side. Up it goes. Change your blade. Boom, bada da bing. So, um, I don't know, does this have the name of it? It's just a scrapbook rotary paper trimmer. It's a 12 inch cut length. So, and it says it's a deluxe portable design with swing out arm. And it just has like small directions on everything that's on there. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very, very soon.